Hello everyone, this week's lesson is over baseball. I want you guys to demonstrate to me that you guys understand the rules and fundamentals of baseball by taking a quiz and everyone passing it. Upon completion of the quiz, we will spend two class periods going outside and playing baseball as a class. Now, the it version of the quiz will game, take place in class well true, and it will be through many cahoots, have never had a chance to another play fun way for you guys to engage and have a competition in this brief at the same time you as learning. Equipment needed, so basic rules, as a and class, the benefits of we will go over baseball. the rules and fundamentals and watch Let's a couple YouTube videos you that show the rules of baseball. The game is called baseball. After that, so you guys will be able to spend time the game collaborating as a baseball. group. The baseball is made and talking of a rubber about the baseball. cork center wrapped in the yarn. For 30 minutes, you guys will have a quiz, about three five questions long, and the paraprofessional will need be walking a glove. around the room the glove in is order to assist made of leather They are not allowed to help you to on the test. The if you have any questions, please do not ask any until after the quiz. Bats will either be wooden Unless or aluminum. It is an emergency. Most of the time, you will only After find we are done, the wooden bats at the professional level. And there are many optional items as well. To These items the might quiz. not be needed with a freely backyard game of baseball. I will spend a couple minutes baseball, grading all the quizzes. But they are a must and after I have seen league. everyone pass it, the first we will discuss item is it a pair of as a class. Cleats or shoes and then with the next two classes will be able to go have fun. Now everyone, let's rock and roll. The dirt and allow the player to gain traction easier. If you are playing in the catching position, you will need all the protective gear that the catcher wears. This includes a face mask, chest padding, shin guards, and ankle guards. If you are the catcher, the ball is pitched at you at upwards to 100 miles per hour at times. It is best to have all of this protective gear seen here. When playing on a team, it is also a good idea to have a batting helmet. This protects the batter or offensive player from potential injury occurring after being hit with a stray pitch. The final necessity for a team is a baseball uniform. The uniform, as in every sport, will allow each player to be quickly identified by team. Next, let's talk about the basic rules of baseball. This is the baseball field. To best understand the rules, we must first understand the field as well as offensive and defensive positions. The field is diamond shape. The infield area seen here is where the bulk of the action takes place in baseball. The main defensive player is the pitcher. He pitches the ball from the pitcher's mound, located here, to the catcher who is behind home plate. At home plate, the batter or main offensive player tries to hit the ball. Once the ball has been hit, the batter tries to make his way around each of the three bases and back to home plate. This is called a home run. Often, the batter can only make it partway around the bases and must stop at one to avoid being tagged by a defensive player holding the previously hit baseball. Any defensive player or fielder can tag the offensive player or runner for what is called an out. After three outs, the teams switch positions. The team who has scored the most runs by the end of the game wins. This sounds simple, right? Well, the only problem is there are nine fielders to contend with, and all of them are wanting to tag the runner out without him rounding all of the bases and making his way back to home plate. Those fielders are the pitcher, the catcher, the first baseman, the second baseman, the third baseman, the shortstop, and three outfielders, the left fielder, the center fielder, and the right fielder. Each of these players plays in the general area mentioned and can move about the field as necessary. The outfielders will often catch a ball and throw it back to an infielder to make a play at the base or home plate. Let's say a batter gets a good hit and makes his way to second base. But he's tagged out as he arrives at the base. Well, that batter will be out. There are other ways to earn outs as well. If a batter swings and misses a ball three times, it's called a strike. There's also a strike zone. That is the zone where the batter should be able to hit any ball easily. 
This is often a judgment call by a game official. If the game official at home plate says the pitch was in the strike zone, it is considered a strike as well. Any three strikes and you're out. There are three outs per team each inning. An out can be made by tagging a player, tagging the base a player is running to, catching a ball before it hits the ground, and, as I just mentioned, by striking out at the plate. If a pitch is not a strike, it must be called a ball. A ball means it was outside of the strike zone and the batter did not swing at it. If four pitches are called as balls, then the batter can advance to first base. If a batter hits a ball and it lands outside the baseline, these lines seen here, it's called a foul ball. Foul balls can only count against you if you have no strikes. However, they can only count as the first two strikes. So theoretically, you could hit foul balls all day and never strike out. However, this is not very probable. These are the basic rules of baseball. There are several other rules, but they can get pretty specific to various situations and can become very tricky. If you want to play baseball with friends, these rules are plenty. Baseball can be of a great benefit to the players. Baseball teaches team building skills. All players must work together to accomplish the goal of scoring and keeping the other team from scoring. It teaches good sportsmanship. Players must be courteous to each other. Baseball is also great for developing hand-eye coordination. Swinging the bat and making contact with the ball is a lot more difficult than it sounds. It takes timing and precision, two skills that become better with hand-eye coordination. Baseball also promotes exercise. And overall, baseball is just fun. And who knows, with a little practice... Anyone can be in the major leagues one day with a multi-million dollar contract.